Hello Geolocationistas, this is Bruce, and in today's video we're going to look at how to create a map that gives directions from a user's position to the location of our organization or business. For this, we're going to be using the Google Maps JavaScript uh, API combined with the Geolocation API in our mobile devices um, and the direction service in Google Maps. Let's get started. So you can see here, I've got a page set up for getting directions from a user's position to uh, a predefined or, or predefined location. What I've done is I've duplicated the files that we were looking at in a previous video. So if you haven't done that video, you can go back and see that. Link will be below. Um, and I've changed the uh, geolocation uh, to directions, um, updated a few things. Um, in the CSS, I have updated the geolocation map to directions map. Um, I've also added some information here for a button that we'll be using in order to initiate the getting of directions. Um, and then you can see here, uh, all I've changed is um, again, referring to the directions info and the directions map, um, still using get location as our initial function. And now I've got this button with an ID of get directions. So let's create an event listener for that. So we'll first of all, create a query selector. For that button and then we'll add the event listener so we're looking at a click event and then we're going to get location get location and let's see if that works And you can see we are um, getting our, our location just as we were in the previous one. Uh, so once we've got our location, what we want to do is start getting uh, the, well, we want to set up the uh, map directions. So we're going to pass still our, uh, our position to the, uh, to the new map. And now what we want to do is we want to load a directions service. With a capital D. As well as a directions display. Or renderer. And then we want to set uh, which map we're going to be using uh, for that directions display. Which is, of course, the uh, directions map. And we'll remove the marker for now and add it at a future point. So the next thing we want to do is calculate um, our route and so we want to go from our location to the destination so now let's create that destination And we'll use the uh, Google um, lat long method in order to 
get that. So I'm going to go and open up Google Maps. And we'll enter in uh, Park Days Haute Gorge. And you can see the location of the park um, in, uh, um, in the Malbay uh, region here. And you can see we've got our latitude and longitude up here in the URL. So let's copy those and paste those here. So we're going to call a uh, function called calc route. Um, and we're going to pass the user's location that we've gotten from the uh, get location function and get current position, um, as well as our predefined destination to the Parc des Hautes Garges uh, in Charlevoix. I will use start. Start and destination. So now what we need to do is to build uh, that request. So we're going to create an, an object here. And we're going to pass the uh, origin is going to be start, right? So that's the uh, latitude longitude of the uh, user. We're going to pass the destination. And of course, we went and grabbed that. And then let's add a travel mode. And we'll set it to driving, um, and but we could also set it to uh, bicycling, transit, or walking as well. Um, and possibly we can set up so that we've got um, uh, a button for, to allow people to be able to do it. So now we have to, using the uh, directions service, we're going to use the route method passing in the request and an anonymous function to get the response. And if we get a status OK, then we want to set the directions. So in the display, we're going to set directions with the response that we've received from the uh, direction service. So if we come back here and refresh, and we'll click on Get Directions and see what kind of errors we get. Google Maps Directions Display is not a constructor. And I think what we need, to, what I need to do is I just need to uh, initiate those. Um, variables outside, so we can pass them from uh, each. So I'm going to uh, let directions service and let directions display and that's on line 26. because it's not directions display, it's directions renderer. Directions map is not defined on line 27. Uh, 
Let's rename it here. And I've made a, another typo. And I think driving needs to be all caps. <gasps> Finally. Uh, so that's a lot of <laughs> a lot of errors and typos and uh, and and things to get all matched up. Um, but now you can see we are getting our. Um, uh, our directions, right, from the uh, location of my uh, ISP or my uh, uh, router um, to the location of the uh, Parc des Eaux Gorges. So the other thing that we can do uh, just to uh, um, kind of finish this off nicely is add a label to those markers right in here. So let the starter marker And we'll set the uh, position to start. And we'll define which map we want to put this marker on. So it's our directions map. And we'll add the label and we'll add one more. And we'll put the uh, position uh, of this marker as our destination. And define the map once more. And we'll set the label of this one to Parc les Eaux Gorge. And so come back here and refresh and click on get directions. And now you can see um, we've got our map and we've got uh, Parc des Eaux Gorges and you are here labeled on the map. So it's a three part uh, process. Um, one is we have to get the user's location using get current position. Two, we have to create the map. And in this version, we are also um, adding the direction service and directions renderer. Um, and then we have to calculate the uh, route. Um, so we're passing in the request, uh, setting the starting point, the destination, as well as the travel mode. Um, and then uh, displaying the directions once we get the response back from the direction service, um, and then adding a couple of markers just to make it easier for people to uh, understand the map. I hope this helps.